welcome to Polish with Ray. I'm Rachel and today I'm going to be sharing with you a lot of items for the March 2021 Polish Pickup. Before we get started, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and if you're new, so glad you're here, go ahead and press that subscribe button. I upload new lives watching videos every week. So this month's theme is birds, bees, and butterflies. If I'm being entirely honest, when I heard that was the theme, I was just a little bit underwhelmed. Just a little bit. I just thought, you know, it's a little predictable. But oh my goodness, here we go again. <laughs> I'm starting to realize it doesn't really matter what theme gets picked every month because I still wanna buy all the polishes. And let me tell you, if your taste in polish is similar to mine at all, you are in for some really tough decisions this month. So many beautiful spring-inspired polishes. I'm also really excited to share with you a ton of new makers to my channel this month. I'm not even exactly sure how many polishes and IPU items I have to share with you because some of them are still making their way in, but I'm thinking it's gonna be around 15 and quite a few IPU items as well. All right, let's go ahead and get into the swatches. First up from Bees Knees Lacquer, we have a lion with a thorn in its paw. This one's described as being a cornflower blue with orange to gold to green shimmer and holographic flakes. This one retails for $13 and has no cap, and its inspiration is the songbird from the Bioshock games. So this is just the softest, most beautiful cornflower blue. I think it's absolutely perfect for spring, and in the bright lighting, you can really see that gorgeous orange shimmer. In lower lighting, you'll also be able to see the green and gold shimmer, which you'll see on my full hand swatch video. Application for this one was fantastic. It was super smooth and very opaque in that first coat. I was able to get full opacity on two coats. So here's what that shimmer looks like in bright lighting. And then when you take it into lower lighting, check out the green and the gold. I just think it's such a unique combination against that blue base. Pictured are two coats of a lion with a thorn in its paw by Bees Knees Lacquer, and all of these have a glossy top coat, which I will talk about later in the video. This month, Cupcake Polish brings us Monarchy. This one's described as being a dark gray polish packed with orange to red to gold flakies and holographic micro flakies. This polish retails for $13 and has no cap. And of course, the inspiration is the Monarch Butterfly. So when this theme was announced, I was so eager to see which brands would pick the Monarch Butterfly as their inspiration. And I just think this polish is such an interesting take. I was totally expecting an orange polish, but this is so much more. I love the deep gray base and then the contrasting beautiful warm tone flakes. On application, this one was very sheer in terms of its base, but it has so many flakies that I was able to build it up to full opacity on the second coat. This one does dry just a little bit flat, so you will want a glossy top coat. I actually wore this polish earlier this week, and guys, I could not stop staring at my nails. So pretty. <laughs> so here's what it looks like on the full hand swatch. Oh, I just love the combination of colors in this and the hollow flakes are just so delicate. Pictured are two coats of Monarchy by Cupcake Polish. Next from 1850 Artisan Polish, we have Glasswing Butterfly. This one's described as being a delicate multi-chrome that shifts from blue to turquoise and purple to gold to green on its edges. It has purple to turquoise multi-chrome shimmer, holographic micro flakes, and a touch of gold to pink multi-chrome shimmer. This polish retails for $12 and there is no cap. And of course, the inspiration was the glass wing butterfly. So to my eyes, what I see most when I look at this polish is that gorgeous bright blue chrome base, a little bit of that turquoise shining through, and then at certain angles and in lower lighting, I can see it shift to purple. The formula of this one was very beautiful. You don't need to worry about brush strokes with this multi-chrome. And it built up nicely to full opacity in just two coats. So here's what it looks like in bright lighting. And we had a gorgeous snowy day when I swatched this, so I had to take it outdoors and check out that shift to the purple. Absolutely, so pretty. 
Pictured are two coats of Glasswing Butterfly by 1850 Artisan Polish. Next from Coloris de Carol, we have Lady G. This one's described as being a white Corelli with subtle pastel purple shimmer and magenta, neon pink, navy, green, blue, aquamarine, and peach glitters in a variety of sizes. This polish retails for $12.50, and there is a 450 bottle cap. Oh, I love this polish. It's definitely one of my favorites from this month. The base is not a bright white base. It's a little bit creamier and subtle and more soft than that, um, but it builds up beautifully in two coats, and the combination of glitters could it be any more springy? <laughs> to me, this just screams spring. And yes, I love magenta. I love neon pink. Um, so the fact that those were in these with that lime green, with the peach, and even the navy, which was kind of, you know, a little bit deeper than the other colors. I just thought it was a gorgeous, gorgeous combo. So here's what it looks like full hand in two coats. I cannot wait to put this one on my spring rack. Oh, I love it. Pictured are two coats of Lady G with a glossy top coat. Next from Pepper Pot Polish, we have Butterfly in the Sky. This one's described as being a cheery neon yellow with violet to orange shimmer and iridescent glitter of mixed sizes. This polish retails for $11 and has no cap, and it was inspired by the Sulphur Butterfly. So yeah, you're seeing things right. This is bright, you guys. <laughs> I do feel like it's pulling up color accurate on camera. It's this crazy bright, 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 bright yellow. Um, it was pretty opaque on that first coat. I did go in with a second coat, and in bright lighting, I didn't reach full opacity in two. The formula for this one was on the thicker side, so I didn't want to add a third coat and risk it getting too thick. Um, but in regular lighting, I really couldn't see too much nail line. However, in bright lighting, here you can see some of that nail line. And it does have a beautiful, prominent orange shimmer running throughout and some more subtle uh, glitters in there as well. Pictured are two coats of Butterfly in the Sky by Pepper Pot Polish. Next from Wildflower Lacquer, we have I Wanna See Your Peacock. This one's described as being a shimmery green to gold to blue base and shifts of purple and pinky orange at angles with holographic flakes. This one retails for $13 and has a 300 bottle cap. <sighs> so I was thinking this was gonna be more of a topper. It totally built up to opacity. The shimmer is amazing. The shimmer that stands out most is the gold color in the bright lighting. You can see it there. Whew, it is just beautiful. Um, and then as you take it into lower lighting, you can see the green and the purple come out as well. Oh my goodness. And there are tons of those gorgeous holographic flakies. So this one built up to full opacity for me in three coats. And like I said, I was pleasantly surprised. I thought it would either be a sheer polish or it would need to be a topper. So there's that gorgeous gold and you can kind of see that green on the side. Here's what it looks like in just a little bit lower lighting and I really see that beautiful green shimmer and some of that purple as well. So pretty. Pictured are three coats of I Wanna See Your Peacock by Wildflower Lacquer. This month, Different Dimension brings us Antisocial Butterfly. I love that name. <laughs> this one's described as being a violet jelly polish loaded with red to gold to green to orange aurora shimmers and holographic microflakes. This polish retails for $12 and has no cap. <sighs> this is another standout for me this month. As soon as I got this polish, as soon as I got it, I took off whatever I had on my nails and put it on and I didn't want to take it off. I left it on for days. It is stunning, stunning. Um, so in bright lighting, you can see that gorgeous, vibrant red gold shimmer. Um, and then as you move your hand around and take it into different lighting setups, you can see the green and orange as well. Formula was wonderful. It was completely opaque in two coats, tons of those gorgeous flakies, lots of that beautiful shimmer. 
So here we see it in a little bit lower lighting. It's got, again, a, just a beautiful violet base. And then we can kind of see that shift into orange, to green, to gold. Oh, I can't wait to put this polish on again. <laughs> Pictured are two coats of Antisocial Butterfly by Different Dimension. This month, Cuticula brings us Dreams Take Flight. This one's described as being a navy jelly base with orange to green shifting iridescent glitters, neon orange dots, neon yellow dots, and shifting ultra chrome flakes. This one retails for $12.50 and has no cap, and it was inspired by the red spotted butterfly. This polish just screams cuteness to me. Those circle glitters, I love them, and I think they're adorable. And we're seeing some gorgeous contrast here between the navy base and those bright glitters. On application, this one was quite sheer, but it was very easy to work with. I didn't leave it upside down before swatching and tons of those glitters came out very easily. I love the layered look you get with this polish too. It's so sheer that I can see um, the glitters from layers one and two. It creates a really cool dimensional effect. And this month, Cuticula also brings us their Limitless Quick Dry Top Coat in the scent Raspberry Sugar. So here's the scent description. Um, it has juicy, candy, fruity top notes with long-lasting, sugary, sweet bottom notes with a blend of sugared raspberry, hints of plum, and tiny bits of floral. This top coat retails for $9 and there is no cap. I love this scent. Oh my goodness, I love anything raspberry and this smells just like raspberry and I'm so thrilled about it. <laughs> Usually raspberry scented things are too sweet and they don't smell like raspberry anymore. Well, this one has the perfect amount of tartness and it's fresh and delicious smelling and the smell really does linger. I applied this and left it on my nails and I could smell it for hours afterwards. Oh, I kept wafting my hand by my face and being like, oh, what is that? That smells good. And then realizing it was my top coat. It was awesome. Um, so here's what it looks like over Dreams Take Flight. You can see it gives a nice, smooth, beautiful finish to this glittery polish. And it dried quite quickly as well. Pictured are three coats of Dreams Take Flight by Cuticula and their quick dry top coat. And here's what their polish looks like with the matte top coat. Next from KB Shimmer, we have With The Band. This one's described as being a deep navy blue jelly nail polish with flakes that shift red to orange to yellow to green and aqua at certain angles. This polish retails for $11 and there is no cap and the inspiration was the Nicobar Pigeon. So beautiful. <laughs> I just love these chrome flakies that we've seen so much this month. I think they are incredible. Um, so it really does have a rich, bold, bright blue base and look how easy it is to apply. Super smooth, very even, and completely self-leveling. And you get a lot of those flakies on application. I was able to get this one to full opacity in just two coats. If you've got longer nails, you may need three. Wow, just look at all those flakies. Oh my goodness, they are so pretty. I can't wait to wear this one in the summer. So in bright lighting, you can see almost every color, green, gold, pink, orange, red. And then here in lower lighting, you see a lot of that beautiful bright green and gold. So pretty. Pictured are two coats of KB Shimmers with the band with a glossy top coat and with a matte top coat. KB Shimmer also brings us their Restoration Drops Polish Thinner. So if you haven't used a polish thinner before, um, over time your polishes thicken up because um, ingredients in them evaporate. Well, this thinner restores the ingredient that's evaporated to restore your polish to its original wonderful formulated state. Um, what you do is you drop two to three drops into your polish, shake it up, check the consistency to see if it's what you like, and then if needed, you can go back in and repeat. It comes with two caps. The one that it comes with is the totally sealed cap, and then you can also add this nozzle so you can drop the drops into the bottles of polish. KB Shimmer recommends storing it with the completely sealed top to preserve the thinner. 
This retails for $7 and there is no cap. From Stella Chroma this month, we have Snowbird. This one's described as being a creamy gray base highlighted by silver hollow flakes and a heavy helping of bright purple shimmer. This polish retails for $13 and there is no cap. It's inspired by the Slate Fact Junko. So I totally thought this was a purple polish, but if you look closely, you can see it's actually a gray polish. It just has so much purple shimmer. It actually looks purple. It's a really cool effect. Formulation on this one was awesome. It was very easy to apply and completely opaque in just two coats. And it dried down super glossy. I mean, super glossy. If you're someone who likes to skip top coat sometimes, you totally could with this one. And I love the shimmer in some lightings that looked more like a violet color, but in other lightings it looked more indigo. It was very, very dimensional. Pictured are two coats of Snowbird by Stella Chroma. Stella Chroma also brings us an emulsified sugar scrub in the scent Crisp on Jew Pear. This one has a scent description of being a simple, sweet scent of juicy pear mixed with luxe oils, rich butters, and exfoliating sugars. It retails for $6.50. It's a 2.5 ounce tub, and there is no cap. Let's talk about um, the scent first. So it smells just like pear. Uh, I went through a little pear fragrance phase in middle school and high school. I only wanted to wear pear perfume. So this one was super nostalgic for this reason. But if you love pear scents, you're going to love this scrub. I, mm, yes. It's great. <laughs> um, in terms of effectiveness, it was super effective. It has more of a creamy feel. Yes, it does have the sugar granule, so it's effective and it removes that dead skin from the cuticle, but it has moisturizing ingredients like almond oil, shea butter, and cocoa butter that give you this creamy, hydrated feel after you use it. It was a very pleasant experience. And here's what my nails look like after I've used it. You can see my cuticles are completely clean. I also used a few other products that I'm going to mention later in this video. From Glisten and Glow this month, we have Hypnotized by the Peacock's Eyes. This one's described as being a medium green with blue shimmer, blue to green to gold iridescent flakes, aqua to blue chrome flakes, and rainbow crystal flakes. This retails for $12.50 and there is no cap. It was obviously inspired by the Peacock and it's so clear in this polish. I love that they chose to do a green base with a blue shimmer and blue flakes because I feel like you don't see that nearly as often as you see blue base and green flakes. It's just really unique and cool. The base is really to a beautiful, like almost grassy green. I can see this as being a great base for some springtime nail art. On application, it was quite opaque on the first coat. I ended up getting full opacity in just two coats. If you're a green polish lover, I think you're going to love this polish. Pictured are two coats of Glisten and Glow Hypnotized by the Peacock Size. Glisten and Glow also brings us their cuticle remover and cuticle oil pen duo. These retail for $12 together and there's no cap. And both are in the scent Citrus Refresher. The scent's described as having a blend of orange, lemon, and lime, and it is a bold and crisp wake me up scent. Couldn't agree more. This is not a scent for the faint of heart. It is bold, it is powerful but it is delicious. <laughs> Definitely make sure if you pick this one up that you love citrus scents because it is not one of those oils you apply and you have to hold your hand to your nails to smell. You can smell this if you are in the same room. It is that strong. Um, very much like an orange lemon scent. Oh, delicious. So here is the cuticle remover pen. As you can see, it's got a creamier consistency with personally, I prefer to a watery consistency. I feel like it sticks on the nail longer um, and it doesn't drip off onto whatever surface I'm applying it on top of. 
Then I went in with the cuticle pusher, and this is the Polish Pickup Cuticle Pusher from their Essential Shop. This went on sale last month and sold out crazy quickly. It sounds like it's going to be back available in stock this month. Um, highly suggest you pick it up if you can. Super effective, especially when paired with this cuticle remover. You can see I'm using the beveled side to just push down my cuticle. I'm being very gentle here, just grazing my nail with it. Um, and then I go in with a pointed end and just clean up a little bit. Before I went in with the tool at all, by the way, I did leave the cuticle remover on my nail for 60 seconds, which is what they recommend. So I washed my hands very thoroughly and this was the result so clean and then i went in with the cuticle oil guys i'm out of this cuticle oil now <laughs> i've had it for not that long and it is completely gone that's how much i've enjoyed it i said let me get it out and test it see how much i like it so i can give a real recommendation no it's gone yeah so that's how much i like it <laughs> This month from Music City Beauty, we have Sparkle and Shine. This one's described as being a teal turquoise with green to silver to purple shifting shimmer and holographic um, that is very subtle. This one retails for $12 and there is a hundred bottle cap and it's inspired by the Sparkle Violet Ear. So it really does have a bold, beautiful teal turquoise base, perfect for spring and summer. And on application, whew, the opacity is impressive. I think this one could be a one coater. I did go in with two coats. Um, I see brush strokes right now, but they do self level out quite well. And I will say to my eye, what I see most is that beautiful teal turquoise color. Um, I don't see too much of the green and purple, but I do see some of the silver and of course that delicate holographic as well. And I actually really, really like this base color. I think it would complement a ton of different skin tones. Pictured are two coats of Sparkle and Shine by Music City Beauty. And the final polish I have to share with you today is from Fair Maiden. It's in Plume, which is just the cutest name. Um, this is a thermal polish that's rosy magenta when cold to white when warm with color shifting shimmer, multi-chrome flakes, and holographic sparkle. It's $11 and has no cap. So no shock to anyone, I'm obsessed with this polish. <laughs> if you're not new to my channel, you know that magenta is one of my favorite polish colors. And this is like this gorgeous orchidy magenta color. Oh, it's got this bright green shimmer in bright lighting. And then in lower lighting, you can see a pinkish orangey shimmer. Oh, it's got chrome flakies, which I'm also obsessed with. And the holographic in it is very dainty and delicate. It is almost fully opaque in one coat when it's warm and white. Like what? <laughs> I love that. that. I mean, yes, yes. And it was fully opaque, completely opaque for me in two coats. So dipping it here into the cold water, you can see it turn into that beautiful orchidy magenta. See that green shimmer? Mm hmm. That's pretty. <laughs> And then in the warm water, it turns into that gorgeous white. And do you see any nail line? Because I'm not seeing any nail line. Pictured are two coats of In Plume by Fair Maiden Polish, cold and warm. And actually, this is the final polish I have to share with you today. It is Night Owl Lacquer Olive Flutter. It's described as being a black to burgundy to red multi-chrome with blue, purple, and red crystal chameleon flakes. It retails for $13 and there is no cap. So this is Night Owl's take on this incredible black to red multi-chrome. If you are collecting them like I am, you're gonna wanna add this one to your collection because I haven't seen anything like this yet. So the most prominent flakes in this polish are the blue flakes. You can see the red and purple in there as well, but the blue is what catches the eye most. It was a bit sheer on that first coat, but built up to a gorgeous depth of color in three coats. That gave me that rich black base and tons of those incredibly vibrant flakies. So in bright lighting, you see mostly the black, 
but here's what it looks like in a little bit lower lighting. You can see it shift to the burgundy. I feel like this one is a bit deeper in color than some of the red to black multi-chromes I've seen, and the flakies make it stand out too. Pictured our three coats of Night Owl Lacquer, all a flutter. So I accidentally lost all my footage for the outro for this video, so we're doing it montage style today. The Polish Pickup site opens for pre-order this month on March 5th at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and it will be open through March 8th. Wishlisting begins on February 28th, so on the 28th, you can go to the Polish Pickup site and see all the items that will be available. Remember, the items I showed you today are just a little tiny glimpse into what is going to be offered. They also sell jewelry, stickers, wax, body care, nail care, a little bit of everything. Um, so make sure you check it out on the 28th so you can see all the items. I'll also link below their site, their social media, Instagram, Facebook group, and their new Polish Pickup YouTube channel, which is super exciting and brand new. Comment below which polish you enjoyed most. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you found it helpful. I upload new live swatching videos every week and I'd love to see you here more often. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.